Hello and welcome to the Urge to Podcast Episode 8, a weekly Pokemon podcast where we talk about news with a little bit of other games sprinkled in. I'm Urge to Game. And I'm Psychopath. So, Path of the Psycho, tell me, how was your Pokemon week? Okay, Yoda. Um, <laughs> I mean, my Pokemon week has been pretty good. I've been playing a lot of Dynamax Adventures. Uh, no shinies. I swear, I've probably done 50 runs and have not seen a single Pokemon shine. What? Uh, Pokemon Go, the same way. I swear, I encountered so many Trubbish, and I didn't get a single one that was shiny. Ah. <laughs> Dang. What? Yeah. I mean, other, I mean, but, you know, I, I did do the friend challenge, and I got that 175,000 experience or whatever the number was. Oh, uh, okay. So, you know, I, I did get some good experience. But other than that, I mean, my Pokemon, my Pokemon weeks, it feels like the past couple weeks have been this, like, eh, nothing really too spectacular to brag about. So, but what about you, Urge? How was your Pokemon week? All right. Well, mine is going to be a mouthful, so get ready. So, um, I... Did not find any shiny uh, trubbish <laughs> during that event. Uh, still going on, I, I believe. I, I just caught th- three trubbish spawn right around me before we started this recording, and none of them are shiny, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, I play a little bit of Pokemon Go. Still, uh, my mind, so in my mindset in Pokemon Go is to finish that special quest for the shiny Mew. I still have a ways to go to catch thirty of every Pokemon. But I still, I'm still keeping up, catching one Pokemon each day. I, I have an alarm. <laughs> uh, all right, so, so that's Pokemon Go. Now, today I was, I live streamed Pokemon Sword, um, playing Dynamax Adventures with viewers. It was pretty fun. Uh, streamed for a couple hours, and. Uh, I got a shiny. <laughs> what? What'd you get? A shiny Galarian Mr. Mime. Oh, um, I'm so jealous. Now, here's the thing. I already caught a Galarian shiny Mr. Mime from Dynamax Adventures a couple months ago. So, uh, ha, huh, now I have another one. Now, my first one, I evolved to Mr. Rhyme, so this one, I'll, I'll, this, I'm gonna add it to my living shiny decks collection. (laughs) So how many, how many do you have in living shiny decks, like, out of the 898? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I, honestly, I don't know. I, I never bothered counting. I guess I should count it someday. (laughs) Uh, so... Uh, okay, so that that's pretty much that's Pokemon Sword. Now, oh, actually, okay, I, I I almost forgot. So yesterday, um, I kind of so I battled a streamer live. Uh, so there's there's this a good friend of mine named M Lucario. Uh, she has a po- uh, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, she live streams uh, Pokemon and Persona Five content. So yesterday she was streaming Pokemon Sword, battling online matchmaking, and I, I checked it out. I'm like, oh wow! And uh, it was towards the end of the stream. She was saying she's gonna do one more battle, and someone in the chat was saying, "Hey, look, uh, M Lucario, may I battle you?" And she's like, "Sure." And then, and that's when I immediately turned on my Switch, got on Pokemon Sword, <laughs> and I typed in the same code. And I was able to match with Lucario to battle her. <clears throat> Sorry, person in the chat. Uh, <laughs> I kind of, kind of hijacked that spot. But I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to be a surprise. <laughs> and so, uh, Lucario was very surprised to be matched with me, and we battled. Now I, I put the the stream away. I didn't want to watch the the stream while while battling her. So. Uh, I also, yeah, after we, here's the thing, actually. So, online matches in Pokemon Sword, mm, I've only ever battled online, gosh, maybe at, at, at the most, six times. I rarely do online battles. On 3DS, I battled more, but nowadays, I'm like, eh, I'm more of a collector than a battler. Although, I still like to EV train Pokemon. So, um... Yeah, I didn't. I, you know this. I had no idea. Yeah, twenty minutes to battle. Unfortunately, time was up when I battled with her. Um, that was weird. 
I, I won, but I I didn't want to win because of a timer. It was, it's, eh, it's, it's weird. So, I also did a reaction video to it. I should have recorded myself, like, from my point of view, battling her. That would have been awesome, but I just didn't think about that. So, um, I went back to that stream and I recorded doing a, a reaction video and, <gasps> excuse me, and uh, commentating my thought process. Um, so, it was still pretty cool. Battling Lucario for the first time. Uh, I definitely wish to battle her again sometime in the future. And, of course, as you guessed, uh, she uses Lucario, which was quite the problem. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, so that, that's, that's Pokemon Sword. Uh, that, that's about it. Oh, yeah, well, so, obviously, how can I possibly forget Pokemon Masters EX? Um, I'm still... I'm still sad that I did not get that Gardevoir. Diantha and Gardevoir, it's gone. It's gone from the game. It's time's up. Uh, who knows when that'll come back. Yeah, do, do they usually come back at some point? Or is it just they like do. it's gone and now too bad, so sad? No, they do come back eventually. They do bring them back. And when that time comes, I'll be ready. But for now, I'm spending... I, I st Well, I... I'm saving up my gems. I, I, um, I, I don't. I'm conflicted. I don't know if I should save up my gen, gems for next time Gardevoir comes back, or spend them right now on uh, Zekrom and N. N is in the game now with Zekrom. Although this isn't the first time. Um, this is a rerun. You can have a chance to summon N with uh, Zekrom. Uh, I don't have that. That'll be pretty cool to get him. But uh, I only have like a thousand gems. I don't know if I'll if I'll do it. I'll think about it. So uh, I'm also still doing that uh, Alola event in Pokemon Masters EX. I already got all the rewards. It's but now I'm kind of still spending all my my stamina on that event just so I can get the bronze uh, power up ticket because it's pretty easy to get that consistently. So I, I've been all over that, trying to get those uh, three-star bronze tickets. So that way I can possibly four-star all of my three-star roster. I think I have eight, nine. I think I have like ten three-star characters left to upgrade to four-star. It, it costs 20 tickets to upgrade one three-star to a four-star. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see if I... Uh, accomplish that task. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, that was my Pokemon week. So, let's talk about the news. Wonderful! That was weird. Okay, so, uh, first up, the Pokemon Company has announced a new project in Japan. It's called the, the Pokemon Fossil Museum. Uh... Now, this will be a, a traveling exhibit across Japan, which will showcase fossil Pokemon, including, um, all right, I don't even know how you pronounce that. F Facsimiles? I don't know. Um, oh, face smileys. What? Okay. Sure. <laughs> um, it's going to have uh, Pokemon skeletons and compare it to dinosaurs, like real life dinosaurs uh, that they're based on. Um, it will run from July 2021 through 2022. Now, they also posted a, like a location and, and a date um, of what, what towns they'll be traveling to here and there. Of course, it's all across Japan, so I I don't live in Japan. And I don't even know how to pronounce any of these names, so I'm just going to leave it <laughs> leave it to the audience. If you're interested, if you're in Japan and... You, you speak English to understand this podcast. Uh, I mean, you can go ahead and look it up. That's pretty cool. We're traveling around. Th this, now, this reminds me um, of Pokemon Symphonic Evolutions. A Psychopath, have you ever watched the concert? I have not, unfortunately. It's, have you? Yeah. Once, they were in, in, in my city uh, a couple of years back. And... I loved it. It was it was such a nostalgia bomb. It was incredible, amazing. It was all it was like a Pokemon convention. 
There were a lot of people that were cosplaying as well in the lobby. It was so cool. I felt like, I felt like these are my kind of people, you know? You know? <laughs> it was really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so, Pokemon Museum, this is interesting. Huh, what do you think? I mean, my only thing about it that seems interesting, nonetheless, is, you know, it, Will they ever do something like this again, or is it only going to be like a limited time run as they have it stated there? That's what my curiosity is. Like, I'm assuming they'll probably wait to see what the popularity is and the feedback, but... Because I would love to see something like this come to the West. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious, too. That'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, Alright, so next is Pokemon Sword. So, there's a new mystery gift code that gets you a free weakness policy. And the code is WPF1NALSPC3. Just want to make sure I was clear on that. <laughs> I know I sound like a robot. <laughs> so, this code was actually revealed during the Pokemon Players Cup 3 live stream on Pokemon's official YouTube channel. Uh, I've been watching every now and then. I think I said this according. Uh, no, they, they. I think they're streaming now. Um, finals. So, I, I don't really watch the VGC. I like watching the TCG. And seeing what kind of decks people use in these uh, competitive scenes. VGC competitive? Uh, that's cool, no. It's just... Uh, at the end of the day... It's still luck. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to get a lot of heat for this, but it's you can't control when you get a critical hit. It's not really skill when you get a critical hit. I mean, it's cool if you use, like, Night Slash, knowing that it's a higher critical hit chance, but still, it's, it's, it's lucky if you get a critical hit, or if, like, your static ability triggers, or if your uh, Ice Beam that has a 10% chance to freeze, it, it a actually happens. Yay. Um, so I don't really typically watch uh, VGC matches. TCG, on the other hand, uh, I don't mind. I Obviously, I mean, they're cards. It's it's totally luck-based uh, as well. But I don't know. It's just... I don't know. Card well, I mean, games? Huh? I mean, a lot of games in general are, you know, random number generators. Yes. So... I mean, even you have to think about, like, any of the other Pokemon games out there, there have always been, you know, compl you know, it is luck-based. You know, yeah. if you get a shiny, what Pokemon you find, all that, so. Yeah. It, I don't know, it's regarding, I'm more, I'm just more interested in TCG, just, I, maybe it's just the nostalgia of, I collected Pokemon cards when I was a kid, when, po when the Pokemon craze happened in the 90s, it's, and it's physical, you know, it's in my hands. Uh... I think maybe that's what really compels me to watch TCG matches. Granted, those the right right now the TCG matches they do are held in the online game, not in person because of the whole pandemic. But still, I don't know. I have a soft spot for for the Pokemon cards, which I've also been playing with Spinning Nova. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention this uh, as part of the, my Pokemon week. I totally forgot. Um, yeah, she made a new deck. I made a new deck. She is. She keeps getting scarier with the new car, with the new deck she makes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Pokemon Masters EX. Tornadus is now in the legendary arena. You can battle Tornadus. Uh, I already beat him. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, Guzma is now a six star EX. Guzma and Golisop and um, Golisopod. I have one copy of Guzma with Galissapod. He's pretty cool. I like I love I like his voice acting. I like his lines. <laughs> He's pretty cool. He's very chill. <laughs> He's a chill guy. <laughs> um, also, there is a spotlight scout with Lusamine and Guzma together. That's interesting. Kind of a nod to uh, to Pokemon Sun and Moon. You know what what happened between them. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, and by the way, Lusamine is paired up with uh, Feromosa. I also have Lusamine and Feromosa. Funny enough, I, uh, I, I got her on accident 
Like I, I was, I think it was, yeah. While summoning for Gar uh, Diantha and Gardevoir, I summoned uh, uh, Lusamine with Faramos. I'm like, what? That's cool. I, I mean, that was my, it's my first copy. It was pretty cool. Uh, I also like Lusamine's voice acting in, in Pokemon Masters EX. It's pretty cool. Some characters in the game, I I'm glad everyone's is voice acted, and uh, y you can tell like so the, their lines. Yeah, it's it's got some personality to it. I like Lusamine's. Uh, a voice and the line she says it goes well with her her personality so um all right so i i there's no way i'm gonna be able to six star uh guzma though <laughs> anyway uh there's an event going on called water an electric type egg event and it's going on right now until may 6th and you can get pokemon eggs that have voltorb squirtle goldine and elicate inside them uh, I already got them, and I don't even use these egg Pokemon, honestly. I just, I just don't. Eh. <laughs> but yeah, that's, if you want those, those, I mean, yeah, now see, yeah, there's a chance to be shiny, so, I mean, if you're a shiny hunter, then go right ahead. Next is, uh, well, Ed and Zekrom are in Spotlight Scout. Until May 20th. I already mentioned about Ed and Zekrom. But yeah, uh, he's going to be in the game until May 20th. This, uh... I, I'm not sure... You know, <laughs> uh, I, I assume he's good. Here's the thing. Electric Pokemon in general? Hmm. Uh, I personally have Elisa, the regular Elisa from Black, Black and White 1. And I have... Um... Wait, no, no, no. Black 2, White 2, Elisa. She has Zepstrika. Yeah. And I have Cygnus Suit Elisa with uh, Rotom, which is really good. I don't like her Zepstrika because it does recoil damage. It's really bad. In Pokemon Master EX, if, you're, if the, your Pokemon does recoil damage, that's just bad. Straight up. You, you don't want to use a, a Pokemon with recoil. It's just ridiculous. Um, and yeah, there aren't, many, aren't that many good electric Pokemon. I, well, when I say, okay, well, there's some free-to-play electric Pokemon, but, I mean, they're they're free-to-play for a reason. They're not, they're kind of, they're okay. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, Zekrom is the only electric legendary Pokemon in the game. And I definitely want to, I, I, I really do want to grab him. We'll see if I decide to spend my gems or save up for Gardevoir in the future. Uh, anyway, so, the Champion Stadium... They announced that for May, it will be the Kanto Elite Four. Right now, throughout all of April, it's the Unova League um, with Alder and or Iris. They swap every week as the champion. So, yep, Kanto is the month of May. So, uh, that's going to start May 3rd. Now, let's move on to Pokemon Go and Psychopath. I'll give it to you. Yay! So Pokemon Go finally fixed something. I don't think it was really a problem. I just think they just took them out and forgot about it, and we're just waiting to re-add them. Wow. So Team Rocket and Pokemon Balloons and them appearing at stops is finally back into the game. I know everyone has been so sad that they haven't <laughs> been back. Uh, not me. Uh, I don't really <laughs> battle the Go Rockets. The only thing that Go Rockets have been really useful for, or especially for yourself, is uh, is for the premise surrounding uh, different like Dark and Dragon types, because that's basically the best way to get some of the rarer type Pokemon. Or at least that's what it seems like to me. Oh. Huh. Uh, and then also to celebrate this, Shadow Zapdos will be returning again from June 1st through June 17th. Wait, is that supposed to be May? I'm sorry. Um, may oh, uh, I don't know. Dang. Maybe that's supposed to be May. I'll, I'll follow back up on that. Uh, there's also a special box as apology to contain that contains 30 Pokeballs and one Super Rocket Radar. So not like the Giovanni. It's just basically to summon one of the admins. Ah, okay. Uh, then we also have a new Pokemon Go special weekend that has been announced. 
Uh, this event will be in Japan only. It feels like everything on this thing, all the cool stuff that we're announcing is in Japan only, like the fossil thing and, and so on. Dang. Um, <clears throat> this is basically uh, on Japan on May 29th. Mm-hmm. Uh, for people who've spent 550 year, uh, yen, which is the Japanese currency for anyone who does not know what that is, uh, from some restaurant, which I'm not going to even try to pronounce it, Yoshinoa. Uh, the special weekend boosts the Pokemon unknown Y to spawn. Sableye and Swirlix and Spritzy will be making their appearance in Pokemon Go. Yay. Now, the one thing I've heard some controversy around this is will they become Japanese exclusives only? Uh. Mm. So I, I doubt it. I really doubt that they, they would make that without making that official statement. Because usually when they've made other ones, they have made it as an official statement. Mm-hmm. You know, what they're, you know, that they're, you know, which Pokemon are regional. But because, again, it's a Japan-only event, people, you know, are a little bit worried. Right. Huh. Uh, and then last but not least, we have uh, basically a new Pokemon Snap tie-in, which, you know, we all... Cannot wait for Pokemon Snap to come out. At least Urgent, I can't. I will speak for Urgent on that one. Uh, yeah. It's from April 29th to May 2nd, and it features an increased spawns of Pokemon the game uh, in the game and adding a shiny Smeargle. Now, with this Smeargle, there's a special little thing about it. This Smeargle will only be available shiny throughout the event. So if you do not get one, well... Too bad, so sad. Uh, it may not say that it doesn't say that it's never coming back to the game. So just bear that in mind. All it's basically stating is that it's only available at this moment during this event. I'm going to so, predict the next time Shiny Smeargle comes back is the one year anniversary <laughs> of Pokemon Snap. <laughs> well, the, the one thing I would actually say is I don't know why this is a one time thing because I don't actually even hunt for Smeargle. Me either. I don't know. I don't know about you, but like, because there's no reason. I got it uh, once well, for the decks, and that was it. Well, I mean, there is a medal for those tryhards out there who really want to get that gold medal of catching a certain amount of smeargles. Well, the thing I don't like about the medals is you can't show them off to anyone. That's true. Only you even know about that, huh? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you can show them off by taking screenshots and posting them on the internet, but there's nowhere in game to brag that you've you know completed or done a specific task. Yeah. So. You know that that's something. The reason why I don't even try for it, anyways. I don't, you know, I, hundred percent IV Smeargle, cool. I can copy the first move used. Oh boy, but <laughs> actually, it would be nice if, say, you were in a raid lobby with with uh, strangers and you decide to click on them, and you know, you have some information about them, like their walk distance, how many Pokemon they've caught. It would be nice if they also if if it displayed uh, all their medals as well, or at least yeah, all the gold medals. That'd be cool. Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe maybe they'll add it in some. Yeah, sure. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, with this as well, keep in mind there's also going to be special field research, special timed uh, a timed research as well, focusing around snapshots. So it should be exciting. I'm at least excited for it, primarily just in, in, the, in the sense of, you know, we have a new shiny, and especially around Pokemon Snap, like, who's, I mean, most people who are probably listening to this are excited for Pokemon Snap. Maybe everyone's not going to get it. Everyone will probably tune into your stream. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be that one guy. one That one guy out there. <laughs> He'll be like, I'm not getting it. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Um, now, for those who, I don't know, for those who may ask, you don't have to play the first Pokemon Snap game. Uh to even play new Pokemon Snap, it's totally fine. Now, regular po- the first Pokemon Snap from Nintendo 64 is available in the Wii U eShop. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, it is? Oh, yeah, it's in the Wii U. I wish it was on the Switch. I yeah, wish that'd be cool. I don't, know, I don't know why they haven't, like, because they did that with the Wii U eShop. They brought back a bunch of the old N64 games. But yeah. I just don't know why they haven't, you know, brought that. Because they did the... They did the NES and the SNES, so I don't yeah. know if they're waiting for something or what, but I would totally, if even if it wasn't free, I, depending on the price, of course, I would probably buy it if they had, like, the old Smash, Mario Kart, Super Mario, like, if they had a bunch, even Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, like, there's so many great 
classics on the N64. I don't see why they just don't do it. Yeah, they even have Game Boy Advance games you can buy in the Wii U eShop. It's so weird it's not on the Switch. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe they're working on the import. Maybe they just don't think it's really popular. Maybe they know sales numbers that we don't, so. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right. And that's it for Pokemon Go. Urge, I'll let you take away with the Pokemon TCG. Uh, all right. So, finally, Chilling Rain has been revealed. All the cards. Well, I mean, except the secret full art rares uh, cards. But, like, the base versions of all the cards have been revealed. Uh, Pokemon and Trainer cards. So, um, yeah. So, the Chilling Rain. Now, okay, it, but in Japanese, I should say. Now, in, uh, what was it? In Japan, it, there are two sets of cards. They separated them. In the West, it will be all as one. But in Japan, they call it Silver Lancet and uh, Jet Black um, Spirit. And this, this features Pokemon in the Crown Tundra. So Calyrex is the, is, <laughs> is the quote-unquote poster boy of this both uh both variants writing spectre and uh glass there are two kinds um now it's it's been translated on the internet what all these uh japanese cards do and uh, i'm not gonna go too much into this in fact i'm just gonna mention one card uh calyrex writing spectre it's pretty interesting um now there's a v there's a there's a V version and a V Max version. So its V Max version has an ability called Hellgate. Okay, I, I really don't think it's gonna be called that in the West, but hey, this is a uh, translated from Japan, uh, Japanese to English. So its ability Hellgate, what it does is once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from your hand to one of your bench Psychic Pokemon, then draw two cards. Wow, you get to draw two cards every. Um, every turn. Well, I guess on top of that one free card you draw, three cards. That's pretty crazy. I wonder if... I, I mean, is the do you have to put an energy? Yeah, I think you need to put an energy. So you need to... You at least need the energy to put on your Pokemon. Then you can draw two cards. I guess if yeah. you don't have the energy, that's, that's, that's like the cost of it. Um, so, yeah, that's its ability. Now, it only has one attack. And according to translation, it's called Max Geist. Oh, it only requires three colorless. Interesting. Ooh. It's a psychic type, and its its main its attack does not require any psychic energies. It does ten damage. Gee, wow. But there's an effect. So this attack does thirty more damage for each psychic energy attached to to your Pokemon in play. That's all your Pokemon. So get this right. You have three whatever energies on it. You don't even need psychic energies on on Calyrex. So you can have you can prep up a different Pokemon on your bench with psychic energies, and Calyrex will get draw power from that. That's pretty cool. Ow. Huh. Don't tell Spinning Nova that. Ah. Shh. <laughs> now, if this was um, if this was the expanded format, expanded format, uh, going back to all the way to black and white cards. There is this one Gardevoir card that has an ability, makes all your psychic energies count as two psychic energies. So, yeah, that that's pretty scary. <laughs> Too much oh, power. <laughs> huh? I'm, power for one Pokemon to have. My goodness. Yeah, I definitely. Uh, I'm gonna make a deck of, of revolving around that. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so. Um, so this set of cards, it's set to release in June in the West. So yeah, here's hoping it's, uh, there'll be some interesting decks. Yeah. So how, how quickly do you think the tabletop simulator mod that we play will have the new updates? I don't know. It, yeah, I don't know. When I first see it, it actually updates itself. It's whenever the modders, uh, do it. Because when I first got the mod, um, the battle style was not the latest one. Oh. So that's why you click, It's that's why the Steam Workshop, you click subscribe. So in a way, it, it's going to update itself. So 
It's pretty cool. But I don't know when they'll be updated. Uh, yeah, by the way, so for the, for listeners out there who may not know, uh, I play... Uh, well, we both play Tabletop Simulator with a mod having all the Pokemon cards in the game. Uh, that way... I um, mean, granted, there's no matchmaking. We only play each other, but eh, that's all really that's all I really care about. I like playing with my friends. Uh, I don't really care about matchmaking, so that's why um, I've been playing with Spinning Nova a lot in uh, in Tabletop Simulator, and so like <laughs> uh, you know, it, w- w- in the Pokemon Online official online game, it's it's a lot of money and a lot of random bo- opening booster packs. I mean, I suppose you can trade in uh, booster packs to get the cards you want. But that's also a lot of money. Uh, I mean, look, especially I just want... if you can't actually keep the cards. Uh, what? Well, what, what, that... I, what I mean by keep uh-huh. the cards is, let's say Pokemon all of a sudden decide we're shutting down the TCG website. Thank oh, you gosh. for all you know. Thank you for all the money. Like you can't get any of that money back. Right. You can't get any of those cards. They're not going to say, "Hey, send us all the rare cards you have, and we'll." <laughs> <laughs> No. I don't. I don't think they'll ever do that, though. I don't. Well, now, it's it's safe to say any other MMO can do that. But regarding Pokemon TCG, I don't think. No, I doubt it. But I'm just saying that's the reason I would I would prefer to have it physical in hand. I totally understand. I totally understand. Uh, all right. Anyway, so let's uh, let's talk about. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Uh, so the Pokemon Company has announced there's going to be a format rotation for 2022. And this rotation um, in in the Pokemon TCG tournaments, starting September 10th, you can only use Pokemon cards from Sword and Shield onward. So we're leaving the Sun and Moon cards. We're leaving all the GX cards. Say goodbye to Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia GX. Say goodbye to Tapu Lele GX. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And say goodbye to all the trainer cards, too. Dang. Um, well. This, man, this is also a reason why I like playing the bug, um, the tabletop simulator because the, even when you when you get the cards in the official online game i mean eventually they rotate out the decks so you can't you can't use your your favorite cards in, in uh, standard format anyway yes there's expanded but it's 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 not the same you know well let's even talk about that for a second as you said that like with the online tcg you could spend all this money buy all these cards and then you can never use them again technically well, I mean, it's a different matchmaking. You, you can select expanded format that uses all the cards. Yeah, but I'm talking about even for like tournaments, like right. They, yeah. Uh, um, there, uh, sometimes there are online tournaments. Well, many tiny little tournaments that that uh, it, it's like I I've joined a couple tournaments in, in the online uh, TCG game um, a couple years back, and but it's like a self. It's like. There could be up to like I think twelve participants, not not twelve or maybe eight. I don't know. There's like a, a couple people has its own mini bracket, and it's like, it, yeah. Um, <laughs> other than that, it's uh, it, it's just it's a weird feeling. Yeah, when you can't use your favorite cards in standard play. I feel like standard. I haven't even made a Gengar V Max card yet. Well. As as the years go by, the power creep becomes more real. So, by the time that Gengar V Max card comes out, I'm sure it will be epic. It'll be like <laughs> the glass. It'll be like that uh, glass. Uh, the uh, Cali Rex cards. We'll see. <laughs> I just hope they come up with a shiny variant as well. <laughs> oh, I agree. Hmm. All right, so. Uh, yeah, that's it for the Pokemon TCG news. Now let's move on to Pokemon Snap. So Nintendo has partnered with Fujifilm to release a new instant photo printing device. Yeah, I this, saw that. <laughs> uh, this device, the Instax Mini Link SE, comes with an app that allows for you to share images with your Nintendo Switch to the app in order to print special photos taken in-game. 
Super Mario 3D World, Animal Crossing, New Horizons, and Pokemon, new Pokemon Snap will have special borders. And there's a, there's a special Pikachu case coming with it, too. It's, it's adorable. <laughs> I think the ears stick out. Well, I mean, the ears are the right size, but it's kind of weird that the ears, uh, I don't know. It, I don't know. It's Now, I don't know. the one thing I've seen as a controversy with this device is the fact that you can actually already send images that you take on the Switch right to your phone through Bluetooth. Uh, yeah. So, I, I mean, the only thing is you get to print these out versus having them on your phone, but, I mean, if I looked at the pictures aren't going to be that big. It's not like I'm really going to be able to hang them up anyway. Right. I mean, you could also uh, send the, the snapshots to your computer and, and print them out yourself with your own printer. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, this is a, this is a tiny device that can practically fit in your pocket. I mean, if you have a big enough pocket, it's it's just yeah, it's just a little thing to carry. But I I definitely won't be getting this. I don't need it. <laughs> no. But it's it's interesting how they're bringing this concept back back because in Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo sixty four back then you had to go to Blockbuster Video. And there was a kiosk where you can print your own pictures from there. That was pretty cool. I still have some of those pictures. And they're stickers. I still have them. It's, it's like, I think it's on my shelf somewhere. It's pretty cool. So it's interesting they, they brought this concept back. The nostalgia is, is, is real. But I won't be getting it. So, um, that's it for the news. Let's talk about the topic for today, Pokemon Snap, which is coming very soon. Very soon. Super soon. Yay. So, let me ask you this, Psychopath. I, I, I'm sure, well, <laughs> there, I'm sure our viewers already know, but I just want to ask this again. Are you getting this game day one? Yes. I'm getting it physical edition. I've already basically... I haven't pre-ordered it, technically. I don't expect this game to be sold out everywhere plot uh, twist they will just like the cards <laughs> okay. uh i mean anytime uh, there's any game uh, that i've ever pre-ordered and I, there's actually long 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 time ago halo reach i don't know if you ever Dang. played that and i know this is not pokemon that's not even close to pokemon i love that um, game that game when it came out i actually never pre-ordered it because i was uh i was still in high school so i didn't have you know all the types of money in the world and uh I didn't pre-order it. I went to the GameStop that day that it came out. Got it. No problem. Ah. Uh. So, you know, it's it's those things that, you know, I doubt that it's going to be sold out. I'm assuming Pokemon knows the demand. And I don't think COVID's going to be a problem with it. But uh, I'm just trying to see, like, you know, where I really want to get it. Like, what would be the closest place to necessarily go and grab it. But, yes, I'm getting it. I'm always a physical edition person. I know, I think... You and I have had a side conversation about you're you're planning on getting it digital. Yeah. So you, you pretty much you don't have to worry about you know going out and grabbing the game or you know yeah. you can basically it's like just install now, click. All right. <laughs> so. Now if I mean and ideally if I become so rich, uh, I would love to own a physical and digital copy of all the games I buy. Oh, That's I would just too. me. <laughs> I just like I would the convenience have the, of, of digital. Well, no, if I could, I would buy everything physical, keep it in its plastic wrapping, never yes. open it, never touch it, put yes. it away, and then everything else would be digital. But I, yes. I also don't, uh, I don't, I don't have, you know, I don't have Jeff Bezos kind of money. <laughs> well, maybe you might if you sell your Pokemon cards. <laughs> I already actually did a long time ago. Uh, oh, I got okay. about three hundred dollars for them. Ah, all right. They weren't like they weren't graded. They, it was just like it was a whole lot. Like here, take it all. What will you give me? And then someone was like, "I'll give you three hundred for it." I was like, "Perfect." I probably okay. could have gotten more if I sold each individually. But actually, if you don't know about me, I still have uh, the base set, like the original base set. I have a Blastoise, <gasps> Charizard, and Venusaur non-first edition, just standard unopened packs. <gasps> what unopened booster packs? Unopened booster packs, never weighed, never anything. Whoa! Uh, you do realize they're going for a lot of money. <laughs> I'm saving them because of that. Ah, clever. 
That's amazing. It's like, it's like collection. Cause actually what sparked me doing that was, um, when I, when I was uh, like cleaning out of my stuff, right. When I moved out of college, graduated from college, uh, we found a Pokemon pack. We actually found a Venusaur base set unopened pack. And my mom's like, how did, how did we not like know this was still here? Cause she used to buy us cards all the time and everything. Ah. And, um, so, so she did that. And it was an, it was amazing that we found that. So I went out and bought a on eBay. I made sure I got it, you know, from a very reputable seller. Like they had feedback and everything. I don't care. I didn't care if it was weighed. None of them said that they were weighed, but I don't care if they weighed them or not because I didn't. I haven't weighed the packs, and it's just like I have them sitting in a in a lockbox. Nice. That's cool. So. Dang. <laughs> That's cool. Um. Well then, so I, yeah, I'm also going to be getting Pokemon Snap on uh, day one digital. I'm going to be live streaming as well. So I don't expect a lot of people to be watching the stream, though, because uh, this this happened when I streamed Pokemon Sword and Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, w people don't want to be spoiled, so they, they don't, they don't want to stay, which is completely understandable. Some people stop and say hello, but then they, they say, I got to go, I don't want to be spoiled. I'm like, hey, cool, it's cool. I still want to stream it, but yeah, I'm excited. I mean, different from other people. I actually don't care about spoilers at all. I know some people are probably going, oh, my God. Like, even when, like, everyone knows, like, the, the Marvel movies come out, bro, I just look up what's happening in the movie. I don't, and before I even go see them, it's not like I care. Um, but, yeah, I, I'll, I'll try to sh step in and watch some of your stream. I'm still working on Friday. Uh, but, yeah, I'll, I'll be stepping in to watch that a bit. I'm going to be excited, but I won't get to see all of it, unfortunately. That's fine. That's cool. Um, we we we'll, we we'll be playing a lot on Saturday. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no. On Saturday, I probably won't get to play until the evening. Uh, I have a okay. volunteer event similar to the same thing with the Pokemon thing. Um, so I'm gonna gotcha. be I, I'm gonna be volunteering with that. So it's gonna be so much fun. But okay. um, but uh, Saturday evening I'm gonna be playing, and then of course all day Sunday I'm gonna know life. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna try okay. to beat the whole game in one day. Dang, what? <laughs> Spoken like a true Pokemon fan. Kidding. Well, I mean, because, <laughs> again, we don't know everything about this game. We don't know the levels. We don't know all I the do. secrets and everything, all the co different collections. I do. Because, again, oh, okay, because, yeah, because your uncle works for Nintendo, duh. Yes, um, and, he, and he told me every Pokemon is a ditto. There you go. <laughs> oh, it sounds just like Pokemon Go. Um, <laughs> Gosh. But... I, I mean, the, the thing with it is, is because, again, there's going to be leaderboards like competing for yeah. that. My goal is to basically just be able to beat the base game and take pictures of all the Pokemon. Right. Uh, Me too. And because, again, there's going to be 200. There's almost triple what there was in uh, or at least compared to what was in the original Pokemon Snap. But <clears throat> I'm hoping that. You know, they do add even some DLC and some updates to make the game more interesting. Like, maybe they'll have extra levels that come into play. They'll add new Pokemon, you know, all that kind of stuff. Not new Pokemon necessarily to, you know, the, like Gen 9 Pokemon and stuff. Right, but, right. No, no. But ultimately as well, what I'm really, really, really excited about, which really? I hope is the thing, but I also hope isn't, like, the most boring thing in the world, uh -huh. is Shinies. Dang. Because shiny Pokemon were, was not a concept, at least in the original Pokemon Snap. Now yeah. we do. So is there a random chance that you can get a shiny? Is it that every time you play a level, you're guaranteed to see a shiny? Uh, mm. You know, because then, you know, people would basically go through and try to do a shiny dex of every right. Pokemon. I hope, so, they, I hope there is a separate shiny dex. Or, or like somehow in the Pokedex, Pokedex there's a shiny uh, category something. Yes, if they, if they do have shinies. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's that's the thing that, like, I'm excited for. Because, again, you know, when I say the base game, you know, again, getting a picture of all the standard Pokemon, completing all the levels, discovering all, like, the mysteries, maybe not all the Easter eggs, because, again, in, if you didn't watch the video, there's different branching paths. So there may yeah. even some things that you have to do ahead of time to do that, similar to the original game, like where you hit Porygon with the Pester Ball and you unlock a new area and so on, so... Mm -hmm. that would be so cool I, I, uh, but with my luck I'll, I'll find out that like it's a it's 
like a 40 hour game, which isn't a bad thing. I'm not saying like a 40 hour game. Oh no. But it's just like, uh, I don't want it to be short. Like the last one, like that was only two hours. Dang. But it, I also don't want, you know, a game that I like that it takes hours and hours to beat. Like Pokemon, like what I liked about it was that, you know, the story, the main game was, you know, eight to ten hours. And then there's a bunch of side optional content. That's what I want in this game. Yeah, I hope so, too. I mean, you will backtrack to previous. Well, OK, if it's anything like the original game, when you when you unlock additional stuff, the equipment uh, assumingly, you would backtrack to previously completed levels uh, to access uh, or will find other Pokemon. Yeah, and also, use those items like you get the Poke Flute, so then you could use Pikachu yeah. to get Zapdos and stuff. So I'm I want that. I'm fine with that, yeah. but I don't want it to wear. You know, like it, it, like there's stuff that you literally can't do. You know, forever. Like eventually, they'll come out with you know, different items. Like, they may even add different items and stuff such as that, you know. Right. No, I get it. Um, interesting. So, going back to... You mentioned leaderboards. Now, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> when po- Gosh, I never would have thought I'd see the day where Pokemon Snap becomes competitive. <laughs> It, it, it'll be funny, actually. You know how um, Pokemon, they do the World Championship every year? Uh, that'd be funny if... Well, now, see, even right now, the, the Player Cup 3 live stream, uh, they've been streaming uh, the VGC, TCG, and Pokemon Tournament. That's always those three games um, where they do uh, a, in a whole uh, championship every year. So it'll be funny if they add in a fourth game to the mix, Pokemon Snap. <laughs> well, speaking of even the high scores, do you ever see them potentially doing, you know, like like sub scores? Like the, this is the most points someone's gotten on this level, or this is the most points someone has gotten with this Pokemon. Like specifically, like, like different types of bragging rights. Um, I guess. I mean, I'll try to, I guess. We'll see how that goes. I, I, I don't know. Honestly, I, I mean, I try to get the best pictures I can but with the most points just to hear yeah. Professor Oak to say. Wonderful. <laughs> well, I mean, we won't have <laughs> Professor Oak in this one, so. <gasps> You're right. Dang. Rest in peace. <laughs> uh, I already hate this game. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but uh all right so uh, all i all i want to do though is to beat your score i'm just saying <laughs> well urge you're gonna get a head start but i'll know where to I, i'll know all the secrets by then by watching your video so uh -oh. jokes on you dang <laughs> you were close <laughs> i'm glad you're on my side <laughs> uh all right well um is there anything else you want to talk about Pokemon Snap? I feel like it it's right around the corner. We 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 have such fond memories of that game. Uh, wait a minute, did you did you play Pokemon Snap one? Oh yeah, okay. I trust me, I played it. I was I was not oh. great at it. Oh, because okay. I was I was a little kid back in the day, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, yeah, I absolutely love the game. And there's so many stuff like I didn't even probably get all sixty three of the original Pokemon. So. Oh, okay. Uh, do you do you still have the game cartridge or N64 no, my, console? My mother unfortunately sold all of my <gasps> N64 stuff back in the day, and I'm no, sad. dang, okay. I still have my N64 console, but unfortunately, I, I lost some of the N64 games, and Pokemon Snap is one of them that I lost. I don't know where yeah. it went. Uh, it, when I was a kid. My parents and I, we, we moved a lot. Like, almost every almost every year we would move. And uh, I guess it just got lost somewhere in the move. I don't know. Never found it again. Dang. Uh, I kind of want to buy it again on the Wii U eShop. But just to play it all over again. Just to, I don't know, to rekindle the Pokemon Snap spirit. Not that it ever went away, because I'm you so could do a stream -o for it. Do that. Woohoo! I know, right? I know right everyone would stream. tune in for that. You could give them tips and tricks. 
What? It's kind of like the pre, so you don't spoil them. What? But the game's been out for like. <laughs> yeah, but you know, maybe someone's this is gonna be their first Pokemon Snap experience. And then they'll say, "What are these graphics? What are these from the dinosaur age?" <laughs> oh, oh boy! Oh my gosh! I know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all right. I know I'm over exaggerating, but you're right. Uh, that is a good idea. Maybe. Maybe I'll think about it though. Maybe. I mean, I that's what I would do. Urge. No, I totally get it. Actually, I'm gonna have to hook up my Wii U. Uh, <laughs> it's somewhere in my closet. <laughs> I can only have so much space. Um, all right. Well, uh, anything else you want to add to Pokemon Snap before we move on? I'm good. Uh, the only question I really want to ask the, anyone viewing this, if you leave a comment, is are you going to get it? If you are getting Pokemon Snap, are you going to get it digital or physical? Ah, uh, it's a good question. Actually, okay. So uh, for the listeners out there, uh, this, this podcast will also be on YouTube. So you can leave a comment there. Or you could also email us at... Uh, Urge to game, uh, sorry, urge to podcast at gmail.com. That is urge number two podcast at gmail.com. Yeah, let us know. All right. Well, let's move on to our Pokemon Cry of the Week. So, last week's Pokemon Cry is this. And the answer. Is Bidoof. The Bidoof is very silly. He so sounds very excited. <laughs> he, he tries his best. He, he tries his best. <laughs> He's just happy to exist. <laughs> so uh, let, let's talk a little bit about a Bidoof. So for those who don't know, April 1st was when uh, Pokemon on their social media and YouTube, they uploaded various things. Uh, just random things involving the doof in the anime. It it was fascinating. It's a wonderful April Fools. And, and man, the comments there were there were just loving it. <laughs> All hail the <Bidoof. laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, the is the god Pokemon. Come on. Hey hey, my allegiance lies with Lord Helix. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it seems uh, I, I now realize what legions you've joined, my friend. If you are yeah, my friend. It's gonna be, it's the, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be standing outside the Pokemon office with a sign. should be Pokemon Legends of Bidoof instead of Legends of Arceus. Oh my gosh. How dare you. <laughs> uh, good point, though. All right. So, um, yeah, Bidoof, he's a normal type. His evolved form is Barrel, which is a fantastic HM mule. Bidoof, I mean, you know what? I don't even have much else to say about Bidoof. He's kind of, he's like one of those meme Pokemon. He's uh, a derpy he, Pokemon for sure. He, he is derpy. You gotta love him. <laughs> and his buck tooth. Oh, exactly. That's what, that's makes him, what makes him iconic. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, now you're winning me over. Sorry, Lord Helix. I'm all for Bidoof now. Yeah, I mean, it, it, <laughs> come on, you, you can't ever deny. You can't ever deny that. You're right. It's just too good. You're right. All right. Uh, enough about Bidoof. It's time to reveal. Well, not reveal, but uh, let you know this week's Pokemon Cry of the Week. And it is. That sounds like a Gen 3 or Gen 4 cry. It's not. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> we'll reveal the answer next week. Uh, now, if you wish to send us questions, feel free to email us at urge to podcast at gmail.com. That is urge number two podcast at gmail.com. Uh, we still haven't gotten any, any questions, unfortunately, but we'll keep uh, we'll leave the doors open for anyone who wishes to, to email, email us. I'm still uh, waiting. Someone's probably writing a comment. I've been emailing you guys and it hasn't gone through. I know, right? It just dawned on me. I wonder if people are typing in urge to uh, podcast. It never dawned on me to say to mention that it's a number two, not to. 
just just i mean it's it's the title of of i mean it is this is the urge to podcast if you ever found this on the internet it's okay well i I just want to specify i need to specify that from now on yeah yeah just to make sure um all right so uh well thank you so much for listening uh yes email us please <laughs> if you want or, or not i mean hey it's well i mean we still got plenty to talk about pokemon in and like forever in every episode there's always things to talk about pokemon related i can't wait till next week when we start talking about the uh the uh pokemon snap game yes yes this yeah oh yeah well that's gonna be our big topic for next week i mean i guess today's topic was also pokemon snap but this was this was just talking about like what we love about snap and things we know but yeah next week we'll talk about well we'll have experience playing the new pokemon snap oh yeah (laughs) um all right well with that said stay safe everyone and have a nice day bye